That was the bravest moment of my life. But it was also the worst. The Pulitzer Prize-nominated play War Words tells the true stories of veterans who served in Afghanistan and Iraq, knitted together by playwright Michelle Colos Brooks. Using her background as a radio journalist, she interviewed veterans and their families to get a better understanding of their experiences and share it with the rest of us. I would say almost all of them said to me, you know, nobody really cares. Nobody really cares about our experience or about our story. And um, the, the fact that I heard that again and again and again, that that was a constant, that was, that was heartbreaking. Six cities will present staged readings of the play like this one to mark Veterans Day. Syracuse Stage presents the one night only event Tuesday night at the new National Veterans Resource Center on campus. We want to get out of Washington um, and we want to uh, approach a, a larger audience of people uh, with uh, these stories um, and to use story as a way to engage them as opposed to analysis or the, the typical um, structure and parlance of uh, Washington talk. One of the veterans who told their story is Matt Zeller, an SU grad who served in Afghanistan. He owes his life to his Afghan interpreter, Janice, who shot two Taliban fighters before they could kill Zeller. They'll see war words for the very first time together this week in New York City. There's such a profound difference when you're trying to communicate a message to someone, if you can get them to empathize and feel it with you, as opposed to just trying to get them to understand it. Zeller has become one of the leading voices urging the American government to protect Afghans who supported U.S. troops and get them away from the threat of Taliban fighters. Admission to this staged reading of War Words is free, but you need a ticket. You can get them through the Syracuse Stage box office or website. We'll have a link for you under the Community tab on localsyr.com. I'm Tim Fox, News Channel 9. Tell us something good. If you've got a great story for Tim to share, send an email to somethinggood at localsyr.com or post to social media using the hashtag somethinggoodsyr.